Pretty nice day as expected. Lots of sunshine, warmer temperatures and the humidity is beginning to creep up just a little bit. So we take a live look from Schoen's Roofing and Beatrice. You can see we've got some high cirrus clouds out into the distance. These will begin to arrive, especially uh, overnight tonight. Uh, you can see some of these as well from Lincoln looking off to the south and west from Honda of Lincoln, but just a, a fantastic day of temperatures getting back up into the low 80s this afternoon. Some of you even into the upper 80s. It's 88 in Grand Island, 87 in Kearney. We've got 84 degrees today in Lincoln. That's the high temperature of the day after a morning low of 44. So we've jumped 40 degrees today. So quite the, the jump in temperatures after a chilly start to the day. You can see how we've had mainly clear skies for the most part. We've got more clouds as you head out towards the tri cities So Kearney and Hastings likely seeing a filtered sun at this point because of the higher clouds moving in. For the rest of this evening, temperatures will drop, but not drop nearly as cold as they were this morning. In fact, temperatures tomorrow morning will be close to 20 degrees warmer than they were this morning. 62 degrees is what I'm forecasting for a morning low in Lincoln, 62 in Beatrice, 62 in Seward. Winds tomorrow will be out of the south 5 to 12 miles per hour. And that will be much of the story for the upcoming weekend. Another chance to see the space station tonight. We may have a few clouds around, so we'll have to kind of dodge and look in between them. Tonight's a better viewing than last night because it's five minutes long, starting at 1035. Starts in the northwest sky, exits off to the east. So as soon as you finish watching Channel 8 News at 10, you can run outside, take the kids with you, and take a look up and see the space station flying overhead. Now, the other thing you're noticing, humidity creeping up just a little bit. As dew points are running 5 to as much as 15 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. So we've hit 60 degrees in Duke, or, uh, Lincoln. And just remember the dew point is the measure of the moisture in the air. Uh, it's more accurate than talking about the relative humidity because that constantly changes based off the, the uh, air temperature. Now as we go through tomorrow, we're going to notice the humidity increasing even more as dew points should be able to make it up into the mid 60s by the afternoon. So it's going to start to feel uncomfortable. Anything over 60 degrees feels uncomfortable. Once you get into the upper 60s to 70s, that's what I like to refer to it as being muggly. And that may be the case for Sunday and Monday. So for Saturday, look Looking nice, 88 degrees, turning more humid, humid and windy Sunday. There will be a chance for some thunderstorms, mainly north of Lincoln, I think, Sunday evening. And on Monday, warm and humid or windy, we'll have a chance for some thunderstorms Monday evening. Now for tomorrow, 8 a.m., temperatures already down uh, into the 60s and quickly climbing through the 70s. By noon, we're sitting right around 80 degrees. So we head towards the afternoon. That's when temperatures should get up into the middle and upper 80s, even some low 90s possible as you head out for the, further to the west. 90s right around Grand Island, Hastings and Kearney, 89 for a high tomorrow in Lincoln. Winds may be gusting out of the south at times to 35 miles per hour. Now. There's been some talk about thunderstorms on Sunday. Let me show you how Stormcast is handling this, and I actually agree with this. So we go through the day on Sunday, temperatures into the 90s. We'll watch thunderstorms developing out to the west, and these should mainly uh, impact northern portions of the state Sunday night. We'll have a better chance for some thunderstorms developing around here, I think, Monday evening into Monday night. Some of those could be strong to severe. You want to make sure you pay attention to the forecast as we go through the weekend. Malcolm Byron will have updates as we go through the weekend. If you need to get out and do some yard work this weekend, Saturday and Sunday look good. A chance for that rain Monday evening and Tuesday looks to be dry as well. Seven day forecast, 77 degrees by Tuesday, 71 degrees Wednesday. We've added a chance for rain in the forecast on Wednesday and a little cooler than what we had yesterday. And then we'll be watching next weekend as we go into the first full weekend of June. We'll have a chance for some showers and thunderstorms around as well. And that could linger into the 6th of June as well.